Right on time. Hey, <laughs> right come on guys. in. See, no need to hang out on the strip. Have I matched your beard game? Uh, even more, even more so. The Property Brothers, Jonathan and Drew Scott, have become household names for their captivating home renovation and real estate ventures. However, fame has not shielded them from legal challenges. The duo faced a lawsuit that sent shockwaves through their fan base and the entertainment industry. This legal battle has unveiled a side of the beloved twins that few had seen before. So, without any further ado, let's get into the real reason behind the Property Brothers lawsuit and the impact it had on their careers. Alright, we were already doing this to make way for a new wider window and the window well, but let's be honest, it just gives me a chance to drive a backhoe, so win-win. The Property Brothers, Drew and Jonathan Scott, are twin brothers who star in the Canadian reality television series Property Brothers. Drew Scott is a real estate expert who specializes in scouting neglected houses and negotiating their purchases. His brother, Jonathan Scott, is a licensed contractor who handles the renovations of these houses. Together, they help families find, buy, and transform fixer-uppers into dream homes, all while sticking to a strict timeline and budget. Both Drew and Jonathan Scott are licensed professionals in their respective fields. Drew is a licensed real estate agent with Keller Williams Elite in British Columbia, while Jonathan is a licensed contractor. However, before diving into real estate, the brothers pursued careers in entertainment. They dabbled in acting, blending minor roles in popular shows like Breaker High, Smallville, and The X-Files. Their initial career aspirations were different though. Drew aimed to become an actor, while Jonathan sought a path as an illusionist. To sustain themselves financially, they ventured into real estate and design. This decision proved to be lucrative early on. As 18-year-old university students in 1996, they bought their first house, renovated it, and sold it a year later, making a $50,000 profit. In 2004, the brothers established Scott Real Estate Incorporated. The company managed the sale and construction of residential and commercial projects, and eventually expanded to have offices in Vancouver, Calgary, and Las Vegas. Despite their success in real estate, after a decade passed with few acting opportunities, Drew decided to fully commit to pursuing acting once again. In 2009, Drew's return to acting coincided with the opportunity that would lead to Property Brothers. By the time the show began, the twins had accumulated 15 years of experience managing real estate holdings. Property Brothers originated from Drew Scott's almost realized hosting job for a real estate competition show. Instead, Cineflix saw potential in him for a show named My Dream Home and initially sought a female co-host. However, upon learning of Jonathan's real estate background, the brothers created a sizzle reel by renovating their older brother's living room, which impressed Cineflix. The pilot was filmed in Toronto and was later picked up by the W Network in Canada and HGTV in the United States. Each episode features the Property Brothers working with home buyers looking to renovate a fixer-upper within a budget and timeline. Families often have a deadline, such as a pending birth or special occasion, motivating them to complete the renovations quickly. Initially, Drew would show a perfect home, later revealing it was out of reach. However, from season 6 onwards, he clarifies that the showcased home is meant for inspiration due to budget constraints. After showing potential homes, the buyers choose two to consider further. Jonathan uses CGI to illustrate his renovation vision. Once a home is selected, Drew assists in purchasing it, and renovations begin. The family is kept away until the final reveal. Filming locations are chosen based on fan interest, airport proximity, and architecture diversity. Three crews work simultaneously to meet the four to seven week timeline. The show covers twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars in cash and furnishings, and the buyers pay for the rest. Homeowners must shortlist homes they plan to buy, but Drew may offer additional options. Applicants must be able to make quick decisions and be available for filming. Property Brothers debuted in Toronto, later filming in various US and Canadian cities. It airs on HGTV in the US and in over 150 countries. The show has been sponsored by companies like Scotiabank and Mazda. In 2019, Scott Brothers Global acquired the brand and IP rights to Property Brothers from Cineflix excluding US and English language in Canada distribution rights. Cineflix rights retain worldwide distribution rights and financial participation in future productions from the franchise. Property Brothers quickly became a hit in the United States, topping the ratings within three weeks of its debut on HGTV. 
The show's popularity continued to soar, with a 77% increase in ratings on the W Network in Canada by 2015. The fifth season attracted over 10 million viewers in the 25 to 54 age demographic in the US, consistently ranking as a top five cable program among upscale women in the same age group. By 2017, Property Brothers remained one of HGTV's highest rated shows, averaging 2 million viewers per week and holding the position as HGTV's third most popular primetime show. Despite its success, the show has faced criticism for allegedly being out of touch with the housing market trends that favor rentals. However, Kathleen Finch, an HGTV executive, has suggested that this criticism is part of the show's appeal, contributing to its hate watch factor. Property Brothers has received several accolades, including a 2012 Leo Award for Best Host in an Information or Lifestyle Series. It was also nominated for a Rose Door Award in 2012 and has received nominations for a Cableflix Award and an Emmy Award for Outstanding Structured Reality Program in 2015. The show's impact on popular culture is evident, with references and jokes about it appearing in various television shows like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, and Saturday Night Live. In 2018 and 19, Property Brothers won the Canadian Screen Award for Best Lifestyle Program or Series and received the Critics' Choice Real TV Award for Lifestyle Show, Home and Garden. Additionally, the show has been recognized as one of the most popular real estate shows in North America, being listed as the number two most popular real estate shows in 2023 on the Agent Wealth Hustle Real Estate blog. The Property Brothers are renowned for their home renovation expertise, but a lawsuit filed in 2021 against the Property Brothers production firm and a Nevada construction company shed light on alleged behind-the-scenes issues with their work. The lawsuit was brought forth by Paul and Mindy King, participants in Season 14, Episode 7 of Property Brothers, who were dissatisfied with the renovation work done on their home. While the Scott brothers were not personally named in the lawsuit, the case is closely tied to them through their show and production company, Cineflex Media. The King's alleged faulty workmanship and a plethora of issues with their renovator's home, ranging from cosmetic to serious structural problems. They sought $1.477 million in reparations and claimed that over 90 issues needed addressing. These included uneven baseboards, crooked grout lines, exposed wiring, and out-of-code electrical work. Cineflex Media responded to the allegations by stating that the Kings had obstructed efforts to rectify problems outlined by the Nevada State Contractors Board. They accused the Kings of seeking attention and financial gain, while the matter was still under legal scrutiny. Cineflex maintained their commitment to resolving the claims and disputed several of the deficiencies listed by the Kings. Jonathan Scott's lawyer also released a statement, asserting that neither Drew nor Jonathan were responsible for the issues raised by the Kings. The statement criticized the lawsuit as an attempt to secure a substantial monetary settlement and emphasized the brothers' commitment to upholding the quality of their work. Till now, the lawsuit remains open, indicating ongoing legal proceedings between the Kings, Cineflix Media, and Villa Construction. Despite the public attention surrounding the case, both parties seem intent on resolving the matter through legal channels. As of now, the Property Brothers, Jonathan and Drew Scott, are continuing their successful careers in home renovation and television. They're based in Los Angeles, where they both currently reside with their significant others. Jonathan Scott is dating actress Zoe Deschanel, and the couple is currently renovating their dream home together in Los Angeles. The pair started dating in 2019 and announced their renovation project at the end of 2021. Drew Scott and his wife, Linda Fan, are expecting their first child in May. The couple has been married for over four years and is excited to start this new chapter of their lives together. In addition to their personal lives, the Scott brothers are busy with their television projects. They have seven different TV shows, including Property Brothers Forever Home, Brother vs. Brother, and Property Brothers at Home. They also have two home furnishing lines, Drew & Johnson Home and Scott Living, available at major retailers. Well, we can say that the Property Brothers are thriving both personally and professionally, continuing to entertain and inspire viewers with their home renovation expertise.